Alright. Now it's Dora Moon. This is the As the gesture of goodwill, Eternus has has pledged her assistance in finding the disc that contains Tyr's memories. The infinites have the infinites have devices that can aid in divining its location. To quote Eternus, this is a mess Deus made. It is fair that we help clean it up. I feel some responsibility as well after af after our attempt to wake Tyr with the silver scale. Meet Eternus at Tyr Hold. She will be br she will brief you on her progress. Perhaps now our old friend will finally join us once more. Except Meet Eternus and Tyr Hold. Another time. So, okay, wait, he's saying something. Alkshaz requ requests my counsel on the business of the incarnates, but I will join you at Tearhold shortly. Why are you? Okay. Alright. Um. Oh, I guess maybe she's going to update him on a. Uh... Fair enough. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. You could pick up this quest before then. In any case, um, here is what concerns me. I should put extreme market here so I can spare everybody this later on. I believe that Eternus does want to do the right thing. I, I do believe Eter I don't believe that Eternus is going to like turn again. It's going to go from bad to good to bad. What I do think might happen is Eternus is going to find out what Tyr actually did. Um, in as far as testing on dragons and testing on proto dragons, and because I don't think that's that that's not knowledge other dragons have. I don't even know if knows Dormu has that knowledge. We know Alex Straza does, because that's her big fight with Viranoth is about that. And what I'm wondering is when that becomes common knowledge amongst the dragons that might shift things a bit particularly maybe with dragons that got problems with experimentation on dragons is what I'm saying that there might be some issues that arise um, I don't know it's interesting because Alex Strauss has also kind of been lately like yeah, I failed the dragons before. That's not going to happen again. So, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if when they restore Tyr, they're going to get a playback of shitty things Tyr did. I could be completely wrong. Tyr might be super awesome. And I'm just, you know, thinking too much about it. But I'm just saying that... Experimenting on th on living creatures is not good, and we've kind of had that driven into our heads this expansion <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to Deer Hold. There's Eternus. Our is here. Good. Chromie and I are discussing. <laughs> it's Chromie so small. I miss her half the time. If I'm zoomed out this far, where would you say Chromie and I are discussing how we'll find Tears disc with your help? Let me just check in my friend, Karanos. That that's that's the full extent of what happened with the last adventure. Tiras, his his arm went up like that, and that was it. But let's see. Time is set in sand, not stone. We meet again, Arleia. Nosdormu said you would come. I welcome your aid. I come. Question everything. Discussion about how to find Tears disc. Kremi and I agreed that you were the right person to help us, Arleia. The finding the location of Tears disc could be very dangerous and would likely require more than just your help. While I work here to narrow down what we need to find the disc, Kromi can give you more details. Ask Kromi about the plan to recover Tears memory disc. May your possibilities be infinite. What are they looking at over here? Alright. I don't know what it does. 
It's glowy and sparkly. All right, crummy. Oh, she's sitting on it. <laughs> what Eternus told me is fascinating. The infinite's methods are like ours, but they've merged our magic with tech from other races. Here's an example. Powerful bond dragons, like Miss Dormu, can sense the time aura around people and objects they've come in contact with, like the silver scale. But doing that is fiddly over long distances in time. The infinites have, be have beacons that detect those auras over the time waves, but it requires triangulation. And chironormic flux combined with chromie noses your eyes are glazing over. <laughs> oh. Listen to me go on and on. You just want to hear about our plan, right? Yes, tell me about the plan. Actually, I was kind of interested where that was going, but all right. Take care of yourself out there. So here's the plan. We need three beacons delivered to three different places in the time waves to, tri to triangulate the dislocation. But these places are potentially dangerous, and right now, um, undetermined. I am still working on that. You're going to need help, but I have just the paladin for that. Here's Trevor now. Trevor, I have retur returned to fulfill my duty to Tyr at last. That's how I'm going to speak for him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I won't. All right. All right, Trevard. For Tyr. <laughs> I mean, yes. For Tyr. <laughs> sure. We have the technology. It's good to see you again, Alaya. I have hope that this time we will finally be able to restore Tia's memories. Complete quest. Goodbye. Reforging the Tia's God. After the tomb was destroyed and the silver scale failed to bring Tia back, I made the decision to rededicate my life to Tia. And I made the even harder decision to leave the past behind and reforge Tia's God. I had faith that Tia would need me again soon. And after consulting with the Silver Hand, Karnas and I believe we have now found our worthy Tears God recruits. Come with me to Brackenhide Hollow. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and assist me in their final training? Then we can venture into the time waves to find Tears Disc. Me traveled at the Tears Guard camp in Brackenhide Hollow. Brackenhide Hollow is full of I can't remember their name but I can hear them as they're attacking me and killing me and flinging decay at me wait what is gnolls it's full of gnolls it's all gnolls there's a gnoll dungeon please tell me Tears Guard is not going to be made up of gnolls alright maybe I'm wrong maybe it's just a location until we meet again Thanks for coming so quickly, Trevor. I didn't want to interrupt your training, your uh, train you training your new recruits, especially since we need them. Sending untested paladin recruits to set the beacons. This is the plan. Untested is not quite true, Eternus. My four recruits have gone through rigorous training. They're talking faster than I could read. They are now ready for their last assignments and Brackenhide Hollow before they become full-fledged members of Tears Guard. With Arlea to help them finish their training, they should be just the help we need to deploy these beacons. Meet me in Brackenhide Hollow to Arlea. We must make my new recruits ready for the task at hand. I... <sighs> They're gnolls, aren't they? You're making gnoll paladins. I hope I'm wrong. On the other hand, I really hope I'm right. Because <laughs> it's just ridiculous enough for me to approve of. Alright. Alright. They're basically talking about how Tyr died, um, which you get to relive in the quest before this one, in this chain. Um, I 
if you're not aware, Hadwin, Talthus, Malaki, and Villainate, none of whom are, are I'm happy to say, gnolls. These are your recruits, huh? We've got we've got a troll, we've got a we've got actually a Zandalari troll. We've got a light forged, John I. Um So we're just gonna go with allied races here, huh? Except for you. Talthus. Because you're a cool Tyrion. Sounds familiar. You're not Knowles. I can come out of stealth. All right. Chaval. Well met. Welcome, Alea. Now that you're here at Tears Guard training grounds, meet my recruits: Malaki, Hadwin, Velonai, and Talthus. By the end of their training, they'll be full members of Tyr's Guard and ready to assist with our missions to restore Tyr. How do you select these recruits? The Silver Hand representative here gave us the names of a few paladins, but none of them were what we were looking for. Coronas and I spent many days wandering the Dragon Isles looking for science and stories and deeds befitting the virtues of Tyr. The lucky Hadwin, Valonai, and others had each left a trail of good in their wake, and that led me to them. And when Coronos and I caught up with them, in each case we observed an intense commitment to the virtues that made Tyr the greatest of the Titan Keepers, justice, order, compassion, and self-sacrifice. If you want to hear more, I'm sure they'd each love to tell you their story. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do need to hear more. I read the dialogue. I read the I read the quest dialogue. Um, tell me about Tuscar. I'm almost certain I asked him about this before. Uh, the Tuscar was and will be a group of paladins dedicated to the service of Tyr. Okay, he did a, he did update it, he updated a bit. It began with keeping vigil over his tomb for centuries since his death. For several years, I have been the sole surviving member of the Tyr's Guard, but recent events have inspired me to reforge the order. If Tyr walks this world again. We will be his vanguard and his servants, following his values and carrying out his will. How do you feel about all of this? My service to Tia's God gave me purpose, but losing my team, my friends, nothing will replace them. All the camaraderie of my youth. Still, I now believe that the Tia's God has a greater purpose. My hope is that with the right training, we will fulfill Tia's will and the God's destiny. And if you and I can help it, they'll all come back from their mission. I have another question. I mean, that's it. Reforging Tears Guard. They too guide you. Now that you're here, we can get started with my recruits' final trials. Goodbye. Walking the path of Tear. Um, welcome, Marleya. Now that you're here, oh, we meet my new recruits. Okay. By the end of the training, they will be full care. I feel already so much. Got it. Yeah. Walking the path of Tyr. May Tyr guide you. Yay! Thank God it's it's bound, bound to the account. So I'll just go and uh, send that to my warrior. Um, before they embark on their last training trial, it's conditioned that recruits first receive their Tyr's Guard gear. The highest ranking Tyr's Guard officer normally would normally do this, but I would be honored if you would bestow their tabard and shield on them for their final trial instead. Distribute gear to the Tears Guard. Until we meet again. Everyone, listen up. This will be your last day as recruits and your first day as the Tears Guard. But first, Alea will honor us by bestowing on you the armor of the Tears Guard before you embark on your last trial. Don't know why I chose that voice. Honored. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> huh? 
With all the tall tales Chaffet tells about you, I thought you'd be taller. She is rather... Night Elves is supposed to be taller, but okay. He, he's tall, I guess. How did you become a member of Tears Guard? I'm not sure myself. Fell into it, I guess. Like I always do. My dad wanted me to join the Navy, and my mom hoped I'd be a Tide Priest. But I'm cracking good at swinging a blunt object, if I do say so myself. And I got on with the Order of the Embers when Lady, w Lady Waycrest asked for volunteers to fight witches in Drusfar. I've done that too. But strange as it may seem, I started to feel a connection to the light working as an Inquisitor. I can't explain it. I worship the Tide Mother. It caused, it caused me to seek out the Silver Hand and train as a paladin. But even then, I wasn't satisfied. I came to the Dragon Isles to forge my own path and follow my own code, righting wrongs wherever I found. Chaffer and Corona found me, and the rest is history. I have another question. Why are you the Exemplar of Justice? What? You mean you can't tell? I'm insulted. I am. I'm insulted, I am. I'm joking, of course. If only we could tell who was just by looking at him. Right and wrong has always been important to me, even when I was just a lad. My mom ran a shop in Bridgeport growing up. My dad went off to sea. Local ruffians started stealing from her and harassing her. She tried to stop it. And the lawmen in the town did nothing. I went hungry. A lot. I went hungry a lot growing up because of that injustice. What was worse was how it affected my mom. I resolved then to stamp out injustice wherever I found it. And that's what I've been doing. Javad has just put a name on it. Another question. Here's your tabard and shield, Hadwin. Hadwin, like the sheep. Hadwin, like the shield, let your sense of right and wrong protect you as you served here. Hadwin says, I became a paladin to fight what I thought was fight for what it was right. Now as part of Tears God, I'll do the same. They, got, they get a hammer. They get a shield. Put a silver hand on it. Alright. Think on what is right. Or just think. Little people don't do that. <laughs> He's got some interesting dialogue right there. <laughs> Pardon me. Troll, orc, human. They're all the same, really. He's got unique. What? Not impressed by my sparkling personality. <laughs> Pleasure's all yours. Troll, orc, human. They're all the same, really. <laughs> you didn't see my Flesh is all yours. Okay. I'm not gonna keep clicking for anger language. Let's move on to uh Villanai. Come, stand with me. I have found my purpose to serve others by following Tear. Yeah, you need everyone deserves compassion. Everyone. They Come, got unique uh what's that? Me. I have found That's cool. Purpose. That tells me that this this group is going to be around for a while. Um, I am honored to make your acquaintance, Aurea. Your reputation far precedes you. Karno sent fond, seems fond of you, and traveled as well. How have you become a member of Tears Guard? An Argus. We were always <laughs> threatened by the Legion. I do not like fighting, but I became a paladin to protect my people. I learned the ways of the light from vindica vindicator, from a vindicator named Irishka. She taught me how to swing a mace, how to heal the injured, and how to face demons without giving into fear. But I lost her. When I came to Azeroth, I was lost as well. Travad and Garanos found me wandering the Dragon Isles, using whatever suffering I found. Travad told me about Tyr, and I knew then I wanted to become part of the Tyr's Guard. I started with a, a dren bad Drenai accent and then just fell off it. Why are you the exemplar of compassion? 
I am humbled that your father would give me that title. But really, being compassionate is the only way I can be. Perhaps I am shaped by countless years fighting with Legion. The Felwyn were notorious for inflicting suffering wherever they went. I have seen much pain in my years, are they? No one deserves to suffer, no one. And everyone deserves help. That, I suppose, is why I was chosen as the exemplar of compassion. I have another question. Here's your tabard and shield, but it's not really a question. Uh, here's your tabard and shield, Balanai. I am always here if you need me. Balanai, like you, you have great compassion for the weak. Protect them and yourself with the shield. Damn. <laughs> Try to read it faster. Balanai says, I will stand for the weak and innocent, just like Tyr did. Everyone deserves compassion. Everyone. I hope I have helped you. Let's go to you. You need your big sister's help? Just say the word. I like her. <laughs> this tear thing is bigger than the both of us. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. You need your big sister's help? Just say the word. You are much taller than me. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. <laughs> we meet at last, Orlea. Travid has told me all about you. I think that man has got as much respect for Tyr as he does you. Now what do you need from Nalaki? How did you become a member of Tyr's guard? I trained under our champion of the light, Rawani Kane. When Rawani fought in the Battle of Dazar Alor, I stayed behind. I was young and green and thought I would make no difference. When Rawani fell defending our city without me, I vowed I would use the light to my last breath and save all the lives I could. That call brought me to the waking at waking shore, waking shore, waking shores, and that is where the man Captain Trevard and the Watcher Cornus found me and told me about Tyr. I found purpose in stories about his heroics, and now I am a recruit for Tyr's guard. Now I have another question: Why are you the exemplar of sacrifice? It's because we trolls practice troll sacrifice. Nalaki doubles over laughing. <laughs> it's a good one, Nalaki. <laughs> I've, I've been to Zandalar. <laughs> I've been in many dungeons of trolls. That's a good one. That was a joke. You should have seen your face now. <laughs> sacrifice may sound strange. Maybe self-sacrifice or selflessness would be better, but you know these you know these are old organization tradition is tradition. Tyr never sacrificed anything or anyone but himself. He reminds me of Rawani. She sacrificed everything for the Zandalari. I would have traded places with her in a heartbeat. I think I am the exemplar of sacrifice because Travard knows I will fight until my last breath for my people and for my new friends, even Adwin. <laughs> All right. I, I'm liking this group. I have another question. Why are, oh, I already read that one. So here, take your shirt, ship, your shield and ta tavern shield. All right. No lucky, no lucky, no luck, no lucky. Yourself, selflessness is inspiring. That's my cat knocking over a book. May your shield serve you as well as your selfless serves Tyr's guard. Lucky says, Tyr was the selfless one. He sacrificed himself for the fight pool. I could only look up to his example. Um, this night elf next to me um, is wearing <laughs> the, um, the blood troll. While talking to the Lari Troll, just thought I'd point that out. Okay, so now we're going to talk to Telfus. Well met. It's an honor to make your acquaintance, Alea. I have heard all about your exploits, fighting, righting wrongs, and defending against chaos, darkness, and other uncivilized behaviors. How have you become a member of Tia's Guard? When I was young, I remember Silvermoon 
falling into the scourge. My world was turned upside down. Leia, the city was taken back and restored, but I still wanted to protect my city, my civilization, from that chaos and carnage. The threat still lingered in the dread scar. I looked to the light for guidance, strength against the scourge. I joined the Blood Knights, but then wandered to the Dragon Isles, searching for others in need of safety and protection from the primalist chaos. When Trevet found me, I was fighting at the Flash Frost Assault, trying to restore order there. He and Kronos assisted me, then told me of Tear and Tear Tears Guard. And now I am here. Sorry. I am here, and all is right with the world. I have another question. Why are you the exemplar of order? Some have had peaceful lives and may not see the value of order, but it does seem like we are often beset by forces of disorder and chaos and need more and more need more order in our lives. I was a child when the Lich King attacked. Seeing all that disorder, it made its mark on me. I have lived to see Deathwing. The Legion invasion, the fourth war. Hey, same here. <laughs> order means the sun rises every morning. Order means children grow up with their parents. I want to be part of that. I want to instill order on our disordered world, and that's why I exemplify that virtue in the Tears God. I have another question, which is not really a question. Here is your tabard and shield, Tathis. Talthus, your ongoing fight for order is admirable. May this tabard and shield protect you on your final trial. And he says, thank you. I will keep this armor in good order and use it to further the cause of Tears of Guard. That's not anything else new to say. Right? This tear thing is bigger than the both of us. Greetings. Tabard. Welcome, Alea. Now that you're here at the Tears Guard training ground. May okay, we sort of went through that. Um, walking the path of Tyr. May Tyr guide you. Thank you, Arlea. Now our recruits shall be ready for their final trials. Go to them. I assure you they will want your guidance in completing their missions. Complete quest. Goodbye. They all got a quest for me. I will do Dream Surgeon tonight. I will. I swear. A world without the Titan's influence. One pales at the thought. Ooh, that's an interesting bit of dialogue. Study, practice, discipline. One must always strive to improve oneself. A world without the Titan's influence. One pales at the thought. Study, practice, discipline. One must always strive to improve oneself. Okay. An exemplar of order, Talthus. The Titans will guide you. I know why Trevor chose this area for our training. The key here is chaotic and disordered. No kidding. Things that tear in the Titans are not. He is a Titan fanboy. <laughs> they have taken over territory that was once occupied by the proud, noble, and civil Tuscar. Tuscar have asked that relics they had to abandon are returned to them. Please help me fight the gnolls. Of course gnolls are involved. I knew that coming here. And retrieve the relics so the Tuscars can continue their rituals in Ascar. Bring out the five Tuscar relics. Walk always in the light. The gnolls have driven... Uh, wait. Wait. Oh, shoot. Okay. The gnolls have, have driven out the Tuscar, throwing their lives into a people, are they? I'm going to restore what I what order I can. Okay, I still gotta talk to these, so I'll be with you in a little bit. Cool. Honored. If you don't want it done to you, then don't do it. It's really <laughs> that simple. <laughs> I like Hadwin. Simpler of Justice, Hadwin. Why we've been out here for a little bit. Of to no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> we've been out here for a good bit of time. Time enough. I, I decided to change his accent. 
time enough for me to watch the nose around here. <laughs> nose are usually a nuisance, but the decay nose around Brackenide Hollow. Hollow. <laughs> the decay don't just warp their bodies, it warps their minds too. Decay manga rot paw is the worst of them. She's indiscriminate in who or what she spreads her decay to. The unwilling of her people. The unwilling of her people, travelers, animals, children. If there's any justice in this world, she should be taken down. Help Hadwin defeat Decay Manga Ratpa. With pleasure. I'm not impressed by my sparkling personality. <laughs> Olay, I'm going to knock some null skulls together. Maybe knock some sense into them. Meet out there. I have found my purpose to serve others by volunteer. Exemplar of compassion. It makes my heart ache to see what the decay has done to some of the wildlife here. I cannot save all the creatures that live around Brackenhide Hollow, but I wish for my child to at least save some. In a cave to the west, there's a family of bears, yay, that recently have been corrupted. I believe I can fight my way there and heal them. Will you help me, Arlea? Protect Vel and I from decay knolls. Happily. May tear take your hand. I must do something to save the creatures here from the knolls decay. Follow me, Arlea. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. <laughs> Exemplar sacrifice, Nunaki. May tear's sacrifice not have been in vain. Much is said about how decay spreads through the air and ground, but it also spreads through the water. Slimes that live in the rivers and the streams ooze pestilence. The water is toxic with it. But if we wade in and kill the big one, the poison the water will diminish. It may poison me in the process, but I'm going to kill one if it's the last thing I do. This place needs a purging. Are you with me, Arlea? I certainly am. Help no, no luck I defeat a massive slime. How yes, massive is yes. it? Let's, okay. I don't know which one I'm doing first, but it looks like they're all clustered and Perhaps also a little bit too near rares. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna put more poison on. Calendar racer. I don't think I have the calendar racer tile. I think you have to get gold in all. I do not. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a swig. Alright. Well, there's one right over here, so we'll do this one first. Whichever one this is. Okay. attacked by a bird too. Um is she just sitting there? You need your big sister's help? I will just help you. Okay. Clearly this was someone else's quest. They run off. Anyone bothers you, you tell no lucky, okay? Um this vulture was bothering me. Uh thank you for helping me, Herlea, but let's not tell the others about me getting slimed. I'll never hear the end of it. Were you not supposed to help? <laughs> I never really got to talk to her. Alright. Okay. That is dialogue I'll have to read later. But I'm going to try to complete them before I turn them all in. Because they all seem... They, if they all walk back afterwards, then... I mean, I could just fly, right? Large cricket. I gotta do the bird watching achieve at some point. 
Yes, there's a bird watching at you. I've got two of them already. Aww. What am I doing here? Other than dealing with a ridiculous amount of gnolls. It's over there. Oh, okay. So I need five. I have to watch for a bleed effect over here. Because like gnolls, gnolls will do things, and then gnolls will run away, and then gnolls will come back with 500 more, more gnolls. And yeah, there's a hunter over here. Walked right through. Him. Really? Knowles, man. Knowles. Isn't that elf supposed to be helping me? I want to say one is probably in here, but I don't see it, which makes me happy because I really didn't want to deal with that. I once got killed by Decayed Hawk and Blue. I think I learned that you can jump it off. Now I need to find one more of those idols. There we go. There's two of them over there. Go for the one that has fewer enemies around it. Really? Knowles. Knowles. This hunter is pissing me off. Okay, there's Telthus, who didn't help me at all. Well, next. I have gathered a few of the relics the Tuscar left behind, Alara. Can you bring me any you find as well? I will take them to Tuscar. Yeah, I already got them, my dude. For tear in all things. In some small way, order has been restored. Tear would be pleased. I'll meet you back at the camp, Alara see you out here. Let me have one more. Well, we have two more, actually. Um, I 
Hadwin. Oh, Hadwin is a kind of sort of a boss fight, I guess. That Hadwin? I think it's Hadwin over there. I mean, I think actually over here might be. Maybe not. I'm going to hate doing another characters because I can't stealth. Helping me though? Hadwin's helping me. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I'm gonna totally hate this in other characters, but. And I've got poison on me, so I can't leave our stealth at the moment. Okay. Um, Hadwin said uh, during the fight You'll never spread your decay again, Rotpaw. I'm glad to be the one who brought you to justice. Yeah, help. He said, thanks, Arleia. I see a few of Rotpaw's followers skulking about. I'll meet you back at the camp when I'm done with them. Hadwin's, you know, he's, he's pulling his weight. So now I need to find, um, what's her name? And I mean, I think, I think, um, Nolaki would have pulled her weight if she wasn't, I think there was a bug going on there. But she sat down while I was fighting and then took credit for it. Because she seems, you know, I don't, I don't trust Talthus. He seems too much of an ass kisser. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that I don't, I mean, it, it, it's not a blood elf I don't trust them thing. It's not that at all. I have blood elves I trust, they're, you know, they're, they're alright. Um, it's definitely more a, uh, I don't know. I don't trust anyone that's that, like, that devoted to what amounts to a religious figure. <laughs> Especially knowing what I know about Tyr. And knowing that Karnos told me to keep a secret from the Aspects. And I, I'm not... I don't know. I don't... Part of me thinks maybe I'm looking way too into things, looking way too into it. That is gnarls. I've fought gnarls before, but I'm actually looking for not gnarls. I'm looking for a bear cave. Oh, Jesus. Come on, let me jump up. Let me jump up. Thank you. Bypass some annoying other stuff. I mean, yeah, I'm a rogue and I can do that. Sometimes I overestimate. Okay. The other night. You are not hostile. So I'm not gonna. So I can Come, not worry about it. Stand with me. The bears are inside. The cubs grow more corrupted by the minute. We must act quickly. I am ready. I am always here if you need me. The nose are gone for now, but keep alert. And I come back at any moment. 
I am. I, I said I am ready, right? Yeah. Oh, it's just the same thing. I think I heard a null, Kathleen. We may have company soon. Yeah, yeah, we got company. I thought I, I oh they're just gonna pop up behind me and it's cool I got it don't, don't worry about it all right what what was she doing there while I was fighting um I'm I've got vicious bite on me I got a bleed on me all right so while I was fighting. I feel called to help the help innocents, like these cubs. This is why I was inspired to follow the path of Tyr. I could not have done this without you, Arleia. I'm going to see if I can help more creatures here. Then I will meet you at the camp. So now I'm going to go to the camp. So rude, I know. At least it was only two of them. It could have been worse. Overshot, but they're right there. It's fine. I will talk to him in the order in which I did this. Well, let me see. Does our, our friend have anything to say? Well met. Nope, not yet. All right. Until we meet. So we're gonna talk. Ow. We're gonna talk to uh, Malaki first. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. An exemplar sacrifice. Right. Light bless you. Thank you for stopping those smaller slimes. Arleia. I was able to kill the big one, but I would, I would still be there if it weren't for your aid. Um, I remember you sitting there and me not even starting the quest, <laughs> but killing them, and then you were like, "Thanks," and we ran off. But that's okay. That was just a bug. I know you meant well. If anyone bothers you, you tell Nolaki, okay? I love Nolaki. May Tia's sacrifice not have been in vain. I'm honored to make okay. An exemplar of compassion. Oh, no. May Tear take your hand. Tear's compassion for the rifle inspires me. I think he would I think he would have compassion for animals too, do you not? They suffer and feel pain just as you or I would. Thank you for helping me save those bears. Even a little compassion goes a long way. I hope I have helped you. You do, my friend, Hadwin. Huh. Oh, sorry. Example of justice, Hadwin. Think on what is right. Or just think. Little people don't do that. <laughs> Perhaps I bit off a bit more than I could chew. But with your help... No, I'm not. <laughs> with your help, rot poor, rot poor and an ilk paid for their crimes. Quest. If you don't want it done to you, then don't do it. It's really that simple. Talthus. Study, practice, discipline. One must always strive to improve oneself. Walk always in the light. The Knowles had no right to those relics. They belonged to the Tuscar. The Titans will guide you. I'm glad that we could restore these relics to the Tuscar. It feels good to impose some semblance of order on the chaos of decay. I do not like you. Tell this. For not tear in all things. I don't trust you. Alright. Okay, Travard. For tear. Travard. But here, <laughs> is you consistent? May Tyr guide you. For Tyr. Did they all complete that trial successfully? Good. Well, 
I'm sure you played no. I, I'm sure you played no small part in that. But there's one final step we need to take before I can formally induct our recruits as full-fledged members of Tears Guard, of the Tears Guard, the Tears Guard initiation ceremony. It would make me proud if you stood with us on the steps of Tearhold, as I formally reforged the Tears Guard. Will you join us? Witness the introduction ceremony of the Tears Guard on the steps of Tearhold. Sure, I gotta go back there and we. Goodbye. Recruits move out. Our true mission continues at Tearhold. I'm glad we could bring some water to this place. I look forward to our actual mission. Yes, we may be able to restore the compassionate tear to our world. Compassion, I think his first order of business will be justice. It's about time. Ah, that you said order first. That is always Tear's primary concern. Whether it be order or justice, Tear will stand for it no matter the cost. Do you not think his gentle guidance and wise counsel are important? We do, but it seems like the more urgent, like more, there are more urgent things, right? We won't know what his priorities are if we don't get to Deerhold. Less talking, more walking, <laughs> people. Okay. I'm just gonna take a port out. I mean, I'm to get Hearthstone out. I can't port out. I am a rogue. I don't have access to portals. Greeting. Thank you for coming, Arlea. Are you ready to begin the ceremony? I'm ready. Until we... Doubt this. No lucky. Hadwin. Valune. Come forward. I am proud to stand with you this day. And proud that you have come to embody the spirit of Tyr's legacy. Order. Sacrifice justice and compassion as captain of the tears guard i welcome you to our ranks may the light bless our mission for tear for tear Got extra shiny. They turn gold. <laughs> All right. Hello. 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 Well met. Tia's God stands once again. I feel both renewed and very old. They still have much to learn, and I have much to teach them. Now, on to the task of recovering Tia's memories. Goodbye. Well, now let's get to work to tracking down the disc. I can't believe that after thousands of years. We are so close to seeing Tears return, much less that I will have a hand in it. We should meet with Chromie and Eternus inside. They'll tell us what to do next. Be Chromie and Eternus in Tearhold. Until we meet again. I love that I do not know what's going to happen right now. Except for lag. That I fully anticipate. There's no storm. Oh wait, she's here now. Hey, Nuz. What's up? Champion! Trevard! You're back! And just in time. Eternus and Nosdormu are ready to track Tears to- Yes. In your absence, Eternus and I have used the Silver Scale and Infinite Magic to track the disks fall through the timeways. Each portal is a gateway to a timeway relevant to Tear. A time of his victory. A time of his defeat and a time bereft of his influence. Taking a beacon and placing one at each of these moments in time and space will show us where Tear's disc rests. I will leave that to you, champion, and the Tear's guard. Take the beacons and find the location of Tear's disc. Okay, so we are looking for each portal as a gateway to the time relevant to Tear, a time of victory a time of defeat, and a time bereft of his influence. That's gonna be some old god shit, isn't it? <laughs> Taking a beacon and placing one at each of the moments in time and space will show us where Tyr's disc rest. rests. All right. So we got it. Basically, we're finding a t we're using, setting up a time trajectory. Crummy. You're back just in time, Marlea. 
We've determined where Tearsguard needs to place the beacons. Check in with Eternus. We're ready when you are. I told you! Look. The timeways must be preserved. Black Empire, Primordial Azeroth. Right here. Um, this one is... Oh, I can't even... I can't even... Wait, that one is Ordering of Azeroth. Fire Lords, Fire Lords Fall. So that would have been, I guess, when the Primals were in charge. That would be the first time I... What is this one? I can't hover over it. Oh, is that a surprise? Okay. No one has anything else to say to me. So I guess it's just me and you, Eternus. There is more than one way to solve any problem. Tyrangulation. Excuse me. Tyrangulation. Um, the portals are ready. The sooner your team deploys these be those beacons, the sooner we can get the location of the disc. How you deploy your focus is up to you. And Trevard. Protect Trevard in the, the Temple of Order. All right, people, form up. Talthus, Valune, take the right portal. Aye, right, Captain. Portier! Hadwin, Nolaki, take the left portal. Ah, oh, you put me with this brute again? <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Yeah, well, this brute will kill more of whatever's beyond that portal than you. Corinos. I think it's best you stay behind and guard the portal with our dragon friends. The champion, you and I, are going straight down the middle. Good luck, Trevard. Good luck, champion. Fortier! So I'm not gonna get- I can't go to the other one? I, or maybe I get to go to them later. Alright. Let's go, Trevard. Ah, okay. I'm going here. Storm Peaks, Temple of Order. Well, that makes sense, don't it? Me and 20 million other people doing this quest. Looks like we're killing some earthen. Loken's will. Okay, yeah, I know what this is now. I've almost got a there. Keep them away. I'm trying. I can't see nothing because there are other people here and there's lag. I'm just gonna fan a knife. I hit something. All right, we have a beacon. Where did he go? I didn't even see him. Wait, the rest are back. Oh, I didn't get to go to the Black Empire. I could have gone there? Those were available and I didn't. It went right down the middle. Oh well. I'll have to do it on another character. This German was talking to Eternus. It's Karnos. Trevard. No luck. Oh, they have, have they, they haven't returned yet. We're going to have to go in there to get them, aren't we? Because they're in the Black Empire. Um, anyway, Nalaki, Hadwin and Nalaki are back. It's hey. so nice to see you. Welcome back. Eternus said there was a signal from your beacon, so I assume everything went smoothly? Mm -hmm. Is this goodbye or hello? I keep losing track. After some difficulties, yes. Another beacon set. Give me three, my friends. I'll give you five, and you can keep the change. Perhaps you not, should not celebrate. Val and I and Telthus have not returned. Fourteen. If I knew, man. Val and I and Telthus still aren't back. They must have had trouble in their, with their beacon. We can't find the disc without it, and there's no way to help them from here. We must lead the Tears Guard through their portal to help. I knew I was going in there. <laughs> we must. Okay. Uh, are you ready, Arlea? 
Help the Tears Guard activate the final beacon. Yes. I want to see the other one, though. They must have run into trouble if they were back right at our heels. We need to go help them. We need to go help them, right? We're going to go help them, right? Of course. We do what we must for Tear and for Tears Guard. The Tears Guard! Don't let me interrupt your conversation, Ms. Darwin. Uh, ah, this, this would do it. So. Chabot, champion, the Valunet has fallen prey to a faceless one. I can will protect the beacon. Go and help Valunet. My commander, you once saved my life. Let me save yours. Come with me. Stay a while, Valunet. I have another mission for you. Come closer, child. Oh it's no no! It's you away from the beacon, away from us. Resist it, Valenay, for light's sake. Yeah no no, that's bad. She bad. Everyone deserves compassion. Tethys is right. This can't Everyone. be your friend. You should resist her. I resist. This is my commander. She will prove it. Eriska, tell them what you would say to me when you would catch me daydreaming. I would say. Foolish gray knight, I will end you. See? She's not nice. I mean, I'm gonna kill it anyway because someone else killed my boss. <laughs> I want the experience, man. Faceless one, you preyed on my compassion for my friend. How do I fall for that creature's lies? I need time. I'm going back, champion. We have this in hand, Valine. We will rally back at Tearholt. I will help guard the beacon. Champion, hold off that monster. Not yet, not yet, earlier. Return to your hold and let Chromie and Turnus know that we've been successful. We'll stay here and make sure the beacon isn't destroyed before they get the signal. Oh. Oh. All back in one piece. Thank the light. Now, hopefully, our dragon friends can find that disc. Goodbye. Just need patience. Try to be ready when the time comes. I trust. Right. Dislocated disc located. I kind of wanted to go dislocated disc located. <laughs> Damn you, Blaze. Um, I kind of wanted to see what was in the other timeline, but, like, you know. Anyway. We were successful, Arlea, but we barely made it back from our battle with the Black Empire. Eternus is still divining the location of the disc. And while she does, I'd like to ask a favor. I have unwavering faith in my, from my, in my recruits, but I'm worried about Bella and I. I would speak to her. But I do not want to appear as though I think she has failed. Failed us. Talk to her and make sure she's all right. May also be a good idea to check in with the rest of Tears Guard as well. Check in with Tears Guard. <gasps> oh, hello. Dragon Isle Drake's gilded armor. Ooh. 
I'll have to check that out. Until we meet again. Alright, let's talk to you first. A world without the Titan's influence. One pales at the thought. When we first arrived, I was paralyzed by what I saw around me. A place that was all void, no light, no trace of the Titan's order. It was writhing, squishy. All this looks nauseated by the thought. But Valona was not Valona was not bothered. She set the beacon, but when she was called away by that but then she was called away by that thing. She should have kept her mind on the mission. Those are our orders still. I know she feels awful. I should speak to her. The Titans will guide you. It's raining in here. Karen it's raining in here. There's a roof, but it's raining in here. Nolika and, and I didn't realize it, but we had it dead easy. It doesn't seem fair, really. Taltus and Val and I got a hole full of tentacles, the Black Empire and Morass, and we got elementals? I'm going to smell like sulfur for ages, but Val and I can't imagine what she's going through. But I'm okay. In fact, it makes me want to fight harder. That battlefield was in a world untouched by tear or the light's blessing. The only rule was that the fittest survived. It made me realize a world without tears is a world without justice. And that his justice is worth fighting for. I don't know. Think of what is right. You ask me if I'm okay? You ask if I'm ready? Arlea, did you see that Black Empire mess? What that Black Empire is to our Valenai? To my sister in Tearsguard? Oh no, that cannot stand. That is why we follow the light and why we follow Tyr and the Titans. That scourge has no place here. And if we bring Tyr back, we will bring light to every corner. I don't like the way this sounds. <laughs> I like you, Nalaki, but um, we'll bring light back to every corner of Azeroth. There will be no place the void cannot. I'm, I'm not pro-void, but I'm, I'm anti- Lack of balance. <laughs> um, when Eternus finds a disc, I'll be the first to go after it. I'll raise my shield for the light. I raise my shield for my brothers and sisters. I raise my shield for Tear. If anyone bothers you, you tell Nolaki, okay? I have found my purpose to serve others by following Tear. Seeing Ariska again. She was my mentor and like a sister to me. I know that she was an illusion, but having to strike her down, I am shaking to my very center. My heart aches, not just for Riska, but that I let my guard down. Talthus could have been killed. The beacon could, beacon could have been destroyed. I have always thought my compassion was a strength, but is it a weakness? No. No, it's not. <laughs> no. Tear had compassion. It was a strength. I must be more wary. The void is treacherous and will come in many forms. But I am ready, Arlea. I will be fine. Listen, Balloonai. We all had it bad with the void and old gods and stuff and faceless ones and being impersonated and having people we care about impersonated by them. And it's okay. I'm going to be all right. It's a messed up world. It's a messed up cosmos. You'll be all right. All right. May Tyr take your hand. No. <laughs> I don't trust Tyr. For Tyr. No. <laughs> Dislocated, dislocated. Um, I'm glad to hear you were able to speak to her. It sounds like she's ready to spite what happened. A lesser person would have been able to pick them would not have been able to pick themselves up after that, but Valenai is stronger than many of us realize. As soon as Eternus locates the disc, we will be ready. Mate. I almost have it. The disc. It is in the Nighthold. Whoa! The Nighthold. Will it then be difficult to recover? That depends on when. The Nighthold is in Surinar. A great and ancient city, and the home of the Nightborn. 
my sense of presence with the disc. A powerful one. Elisand. Oh, that could be a problem. She's a powerful master of magic and would know the disc's power. She may not want to let it go. Trevard, I would take time to prepare before retrieving the disc. Elisand will be a dangerous foe. I will have the champion at my side, but I agree. The Tears Guard needs to rest and recover before we face another battle. We'll be ready when you're ready, Trevard. We'll get Tear back. Tears Guard, before we win. Okay. I call it Tears Rest. Oh, follow me there. Okay, they've got a they've got a, a headquarters. That's cool. That should be an excellent place to train and prepare. Of course, you're welcome to join us there. Okay, I'll check. I'll check it out. So, Nighthold, huh? Oh, I want to be like cocky and be like, I can solo Nighthold now. I can solo Nighthold Mythic. <laughs> we got this, but I know it's going to be scaled up. Um, whatever it is we're going to be facing. But it depends on when Elisande has it. There can be a lot of factors in that. Interesting. Ms. Darm, you got Open some thoughts? Open your mind to what is yet to come. I don't think this is new, but I do wonder what he would do this world. Okay, let me speak to, uh, Focus on the now. So you could suspect him and have become powerful paladins under his training. I just hope it's enough. I'm glad you'll be there to help, Arleia. We'll meet again. I've seen it. So have I. Our paths cross at last. Undoing the damage deals wrought through the tears disc to the time waves. We'll hear one rift between the infinites and the bronze dragon fight. A true peace will take more than that. We will meet again. Thank you, Arnea, for helping our recruits. <laughs> Sorry. Helping our recruits find their way. We will return these isles together. I don't know. I still have just a bad feeling. But um, for now, I guess we can't. We now know it's in the night hold. I wonder if we're going to see more to this this patch. There's been there's been an update to this every um but I thought it might if we know where it is so that we did make progress.